Well, I think it has to. Be. I think we all have to be better. We got to coach them better, and we got to get better schemes. We got to get better everything. When you're one and eleven, and you're as where we were ranked, and ultimately, if you are the quarterback of that operation, you know the the production a lot of times falls on you. So, um, you know, I, I think the uh, accuracy, um, calming down a little bit in the pocket, you know, footwork wise, just trying to be a little more confident and not, you know, getting out of whack physically and, and making a throw that misses, you know, giving himself every opportunity to hit whatever's there, um, uh, you know, with a little more poise maybe in the, in the, in the pocket. But I, I think we just need to see production, particularly on third down and, and with the throws down the field. I mean, I think that the top two things that we need to improve on are the top two things that the quarterbacks need to do well. Also, they're the guys with their ball in their hands trying to make these plays. I think we'll hit explosive with the run game. I'm not as worried about that, but in terms of trying to hit balls down the field and convert third downs and be accurate in the red zone, that's the quarterback. <clears throat> the biggest thing is probably start with third downs. Um, the protection, throwing, catching, you know, really everything. Um, we weren't very good uh, in that area, and that kind of stops your drives. It allows you to, doesn't allow you to have a lot of plays to advance the ball. Uh, I'd say probably number two is explosive plays. Um, you know, we'll, we'll keep running them out here and trying to generate them against our defense. Um, taking the shots a, a, as much as we can with, with still being smart. I, I think those were the two biggest areas. I mean, there's a lot of things, but third down is always going to be important. You, you know, especially if you have a young quarterback, you got young moving parts to the to the schemes. Um, and then you, I just told these guys, like, you can't miss the easy ones. Like, sometimes we have an easy one, a guy drops it. Like, it's going to be hard enough to convert these things in this conference. So I would say those are the two biggest um, things we want to address here this spring. And a lot of that explosive plays come off the run game. I mean, so I think I think we're going to we, we've got two good, really good backs here right now. We got a couple guys coming. You know, I think we're going to be a more, you know, run the ball, try to spread people out, pound the ball. And that has to lead to the shots. And I think that's what we have to get better at here in the spring. The, the good thing is we got a lot of great kids and we got enough talent. That's for sure. So, you know, I think it's a little bit working together to kind of I think we know each other a little bit better now. I think I have a better understanding. I mean, a year with guys, sometimes you just come in and throw it all at them and wonder why did they respond one way or another. And as the season goes, you kind of learn the guys. Um, so I think we have a better handle for what the end result will look like, regardless of, you know, you card it up in practice and think, oh, yeah. I think we have a better uh, feel for what who can do what, and we're going to try to maximize those talents. But it's certainly – I mean, we're, we're staring at Mount Everest here, so uh, every day we got to just kind of chip away at it. Well, I think it has to a little bit in terms of who we have available, you know, tight end wise. I think we were a little more, you know, Hillman was a big back. We got a bunch of tight ends. There was a way to crunch people down and try to, you know, pound on them a little bit and slow them down in the pass rush. But um, personnel wise, we don't have, you know, the big hulking tight ends or anything now. I think, I think it is going to be more kind of spread them out use our, our guys as much as possible. I'd say right now, if we play the game, Raheem and Isaiah be the guys we're trying to get the ball to as many times as possible. Uh, hopefully there'll be some other guys that kind of get themselves in that mix. And um, so in that vein, in terms of what we have for personnel, I think we're going to spread it out a little bit more. Well, I think we've got to see where Amari, you know, how he comes along. You know, the, the, the only thing I would say, I, I think certainly Kamal could play there, and I think you don't know where he's going to play as he goes on in the future. It could be outside, it could be inside in terms of the NFL. So I think he's certainly an NFL player. Um, but there's a certain continuity there, at least for him. Now, maybe not the, the side of the line, but for him and understanding. And he's a guy that kept kind of progressing along. I think to make the switch, I think if we ever were to do that, you'd have to be pretty darn sure that this is it. And right now we're not there. And um, I think he's, you know, Krim has done a really good job, you know, knock on wood so far at guard. Uh, Vineski got a lot of experience last year, and Crimin did too. But Vineski got a lot of experience at the end of last year, and um, so I think right now we feel pretty good about the guards, uh, and um, you know hopefully that's that stays true. You're really evaluating four or five guys before you make the move. Cooper's got to do it. Kamal's got to be comfortable there. Crimin's got to be kind of so-so, and Vineski can't. So I, I think right now we have at least enough solid guys that we feel pretty good about the front. And I think Kamal would rather stay there because he's. He needs to keep working there. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a lot to take in. I mean, you come out here without balls and stuff. And uh, I mean, it's a lot easier out here without balls. But I mean, once the balls come out and uh, guys are going full speed, I mean, it gets a lot tougher. And then just uh, trying to get everything 
everything clean and run how it's supposed to look, you know, getting the right look. So, I mean, that's the biggest biggest thing right now, but it's, it's coming along, yeah. I mean, if you if you want to play as a freshman and you come in the summer, I, it's, it's going to be really hard, especially in this offense. I don't even know if it could be done. So, I mean, getting a, getting a shot to play and just getting to compete in spring ball and have these reps, I mean, I mean, nothing can replace that. So, I mean, it's definitely special. I think it's great. Uh, the, the guys here have really uh, taken me in as one of their brothers, and I really feel uh, a lot of love from everybody, and uh, I think it's a true brotherhood here. Uh, it's great. I mean, me and Coach McNulty have uh, been working on you know, all the plays, all the reads, and I think it's uh, come to me pretty well, and um, it's nice to get out here and really uh, finally put that on the field. Yeah, I'm, I, like, I like a lot of the route combinations. I, I like the way we're running the ball, um, just, you know, the just uh, something that I, I'm, I'm used to that I, I a lot of a lot of the stuff that I did in high school we're kind of doing over here so um, it's just um, something that um, that I think fits my uh, abilities watched every game I got a chance to evaluate everything you know the biggest thing is you learn from living you learn from living those are experience those are such valuable reps that I got last year that truly you cannot replicate here anywhere in your mind so yeah it was great just consistency. You got to play hard every snap. Again, like I said, you got to be ready for those 13, 14, 15 Saturdays. That's all that matters in this business is how you play on Saturdays. So I got to make sure I'm doing my prep throughout the week, doing my prep in practice. You know, just getting ready for that next step. It's 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 really uh, tremendous. It's great going in there and just knowing the system and not having to relearn everything. Which you, you do, you still do that. Like when you start new, you know, in new install, you still relearn everything. So it's great just having all that experience under my belt in the system. So I'm like, you know, going to Johnny and. Uh, Cole and Austin and Cooper, hey man, this is what you want to do versus this coverage versus this front, you know, this is your progression, so it's pretty cool. Great. Montario Hunt's a great player. I mean, obviously the guys we got coming in, Stanley King, Isaiah Washington, but all our, I'm just really proud of our guys that we have right now. They work tremendously hard this offseason. Uh, you know, we were out here a lot throwing routes and just getting better, and you know, it's a big emphasis this offseason was developing our timing and rhythm, so I'm really proud of the guys that we got in there right now. But it does, I took, you know, absolutely. I'm, I can do whatever I'm asked to do. I, I think I've done everything almost uh, as far as pro style, spread, triple option. <laughs> so I think I've done uh, almost a good amount of stuff. So I think everything fits me. I think Coach Minot does a great job of putting whoever's in the game to suit their best suit, you know, suit the receivers, the quarterbacks, the running backs, the linemen. Everything's going to be set up to that guy.